Wow, 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 wow. You guys are absolutely gods. I mean, yesterday, boys, I uploaded and I only asked for 400 likes, but you guys smashed. For last time I checked, over 700 likes, which is absolutely ridiculous. And as promised today, I'm going to be bringing out an investing video. And if you guys could smash another 400 likes on this video, that will be even more awesome. But before we get into the video, I'm going to explain you why I am doing this in smaller steps. Um, I have been looking at a lot of players uh, in the database. And there are a lot of players you can invest in. Invest in. And because of that... I just decided to do it in smaller steps because if I give you all this information at once you guys are not going to be investing in all of those you simply won't have the coins for this so you gotta make choices and I decided to do the big league first the Barclays Premier League every every single player will once in FIFA make a Barclays Premier League team and because of that I'm gonna be giving you the Barclays Premier League players I will be investing in yes there are more Barclays players in the BPL you can invest in but I will be looking for these so this this is just my uh, my list of investing in BPL players. I know there are more. I mean, you have the likes of Scott Sinclair who didn't make it to my list, but he is a very good example to invest in as well. But yeah, let let's just get right into it because we're gonna be doing it in, in three steps. So we're gonna be going from defenders to midfielders to attackers. So let's start in the back because you gotta have a solid defense and uh, we're gonna be starting with uh, a very big guy who was a gold last season and his name is Modibo Diakite 73 pace, 76 defending and 78 physical and he is one tall big guy as well and look at those goddamn stats he will be one expensive uh, silver center back uh, this year so if you guys can pick this guy up for cheaply please do it because he will be very expensive then we have another guy also a center back Sheku Kuyate, who plays for West Ham this year with 78 pace, 72, 72 defending and 86 physical stats, which is, I think it was heading, uh, strength and something else, but it is just ridiculous. 86 physical, 78 pace, you will simply outrun and outstrength every single striker. If you can get this guy for cheaply, please do. Let's move on to the third the center back I'm going to be showcasing this, uh, this year, and he is probably known already from last year because it is uh, Okore from Aston Villa with 81 pace, 70 defending and 83 physical. And if you guys if you guys can get this can can get this guy for cheaply, you will make a lot of coins. Trust me, I will be looking for this guy as well as well as the other two. But if you guys can get the um, Okore for cheaply, he will be good. He will be going for a lot. I it's hard to predict which one of those uh, will be going for the most, but my prediction goes to uh, Kuyate, but Okore will be uh, up there as well. Then we will be moving on to a non-rare center back. And he was in the League 1 last year and he moved to Chelsea this year. His name is Kurt Zuma. He's a non-rare. He won't be as expensive as the rare ones, but he will be an expensive card as well. I think he'll be going for around 20 to 30k at the start and then he will drop down a bit but if you guys can pick him up for around 2k, 3k, 4k why not just go for him 74 pace, 74 defending and 79 physical godly sets for center back and just give it a go. Please do keep in mind investing is always a gamble so if you guys do lose coins please do not blame me because these are my investments and if you guys do want to follow me. Don't get mad at me, it is at your own responsibility, but I will definitely be investing in these guys. So I'm going to be moving on to the full backs, the left backs and the right backs. And basically, there are just two players who I will be investing in. The best ones, on the left we will have uh, Patrick van Aanholt, who moved from uh, Vitesse to uh, Sunderland. With 91 pace, 74 dribbling, 69 defending and 72 physical. Pretty good stats for a, uh, for a uh, left back. And on the right hand side we will uh, be having Nathaniel Klein or Klein, I really don't know how to pronounce this. But his stats are absolutely all around. 86 pace, 75 dribbling, 72 defending and 74 physical. Plays for Southampton, is English as well. And on top of that, his guard just looks absolutely godly. So this is pretty much the, the defense I will be investing in. I'm not sure if I will have enough coins to invest in all of these but I will definitely go for uh, the center backs first because I don't think the full the full backs will be more expensive than the center backs. Center backs will be absolutely godly, especially if you uh, if you play three five two or any three at the back formation with three center backs. But uh, yeah, let's just move on uh, to the midfield now because there we pretty much have uh, two very solid uh, very solid midfielders. We have Mohamed Diame 
who has a perfect link with uh, Kuyate. And look at the stats. I mean, isn't this absolutely the cheap, the cheap silver Yaya Toure? 79 pace, 81 dribbling, 73 defending, 69 shooting, 68 passing, and 78 physical. These stats are absolutely godly for a center mid and a center defensive mid. You can't go wrong with this guy if you if you can pick him up cheaply. And the same goes for uh, Liverpool's new signing, Emre Can, with a 79 plays, 77 dribbling, 67 defending, 76 physical, 70 and 73 passing. I think this guy will also be a very expensive player, just because of his because of his hype. He, he recently joined Liverpool. He's seen as a very great talent, and I think he'll he will have four star skill moves as well, which is a big uh, a big plus plus. And then we will be moving on to the wingers, boys. Because uh, our first winger will be uh, Jefferson uh, Montero with 88 pace, what a rapid guy, and uh, 78 dribbling. He will be one of those left wingers which uh, you will be seeing a lot in silver BPL teams alongside with uh, Osama Saidi with 86 pace and 83 dribbling. And on top of that, the best 5 star skills. He is one of those uh, left silver wingers with 5 star skills who plays in the BPL so he will be pretty 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 goddamn expensive so if you guys can pick this guy up for cheaply or if you do pack him in one of your starter packs I advise you not to sell him I mean just keep him for a bit and if you're lucky he might be going for quite a lot who knows he might be going for 50k and that is a free 50k in the bank if you guys pick this guy up for uh, I don't know 5k who knows people might not know he he's that expensive I mean they see a uh, they see a decent silver but not an amazing silver but they might not know that he has five star skills and you might be, uh, well, pretty much making coins because of that. So, and the last winger, boys, is gonna be Nathan Dyer, a riot winger with 92 motherfucking pace, 80 dribbling, 73 shooting, and so on and so on. Probably 4 star skill moves as well, and I gotta look at the other right wingers and the right mids, and he is by far the best. He is by far the best winger, so if you guys, well, uh, if I if I can advise you a player, I would go for Nathan Dyer. He is the man to go for your uh, right winger. So, that is the wingers done, the midfielders done, and the defenders done. That's only the strikers left, and I actually have only two for that. I was looking at Darren Band, because uh, I heard he got downgraded downgraded and then I found pretty much the two strikers I was looking for number one is a pretty obvious one Gabriel at Bonlahor I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to pick this one up for cheap because everyone knows about Gabby but if you do you get you are probably very lucky because I remember at the start of FIFA 14 he was going over 200,000 ultimate team coins and I, re I remember a friend of me actually picking him up, picking him up for 2,000 coins, which is absolutely ridiculous. He made 200k from 2k, which is well, let's uh, let's be honest, that's pretty godly. And then the last guy, this might be a little a little surprise for you, Andreas Weimann. This guy is like six foot three, has 78 uh, pace, 71 dribbling, and 75 shooting. Look at his freaking card. Isn't that godly for a silver player? I will be investing in him because I know he, I know for a 1000% Well, I am 1000% sure he will be pretty cheap at the start He will be a very cheap silver striker at the start because no one will be interested in him. He'll be like well Those stats they're not very special, but I am pretty confident this guy will be going up in price I am not too sure though, but if you guys do want to follow me in that Please do invest in this guy, and if he does go up, well, you will thank me later. But yes, boys, this is my BPL investments I'll be making on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team tomorrow when the web comes out. I hope you guys did enjoy this video anyways, and if you did, drop a like. 400 likes is the goal for another video tomorrow when the web comes out. And uh, yeah, boys, bring on FIFA 15. Peace.